If you're stuck between which video editing platform to spend money on, this video is for you. Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Avid Media Composer are all professional grade video editing software used by filmmakers, as well as video editors and content creators. You can edit just about anything with any of these platforms, but they do all have slightly different features and it can be tough and also unnecessary to try and master all of them. So which one is right for you? Adobe Premiere Pro. I've always seen Premiere Pro as sort of the baby between Final Cut Pro and Avid Media Composer. It offers a very consumer friendly platform that is easy to learn if you have the time to spend. But since its creation, it has focused its efforts on providing the capabilities needed for professional editors to edit larger productions. For example, Deadpool, Mindhunter, and Everything Everywhere All at Once were all edited on Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere Pro is one of the apps of the Adobe Creative Cloud suite. And when you pay for the Creative Cloud subscription, you get access to Premiere Pro, as well as After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator, Acrobat, as well as some additional Creative Cloud features. It's most ideal for video editors who prefer a flexible and customizable workflow with access to a vast library of third-party plugins and extensions. It's also ideal for editors who may also need those additional other apps like Photoshop and After Effects because the Creative Cloud subscription makes it very easy to jump in between the different apps. They also just updated their mobile video editing software, allowing you to edit on the go more easily. Now, the pricing of just the app Premiere Pro starts currently at $23 a month. That only gets you the Premiere Pro app. If you are looking for the entire creative suite, that currently is gonna run you about $70 a month. Personally, I recommend recommend Premiere Pro. I learned to edit on it back in high school and I have been editing on it ever since. I've gained multiple jobs because of my knowledge of the software and my access to Premiere Pro as well as the Creative Cloud subscription. However, unless you are someone who is very serious about video editing or you already have a basic knowledge of video editing software, I don't know if I would recommend this unless you're really looking to use Premiere on a semi full-time basis, frankly, because it's just really expensive, but it is is one of the most commonly used platforms for editing. And some clients do require you to have Premiere access so that you can share projects back and forth. Final Cut Pro. Developed by Apple, Final Cut Pro is a Mac OS exclusive video editing software, and it's best known for its very user-friendly interface. If you are a Mac user and you've ever used something like iMovie, Final Cut Pro is kind of like the one-up step from that, where it's pretty easy to understand the concept of how to edit, but there's a bit more to learn as far as what Final Cut Pro offers versus, of course, a basic platform like iMovie. It does offer advanced color grading, multicam editing, 360 video editing, as well as, of course, all the basic features that you will find in standard video editing software. Now, being that it is an Apple exclusive product, it does integrate seamlessly with apps like Motion and Compressor. Now, even though it is a bit more user-friendly, there have been large productions edited on Final Cut Pro, two examples being Napoleon Dynamite and The Ring. As well as famously noted, the Oscar award-winning film Parasite was also edited on Final Cut Pro, mainly because that's just what he was comfortable editing on and could rely on. So the pricing. Final Cut Pro currently costs a one-time fee of $300 and they do offer a free trial so that you can test it out. I did say this before, but it is important to note that Final Cut Pro is of course a Mac only option. So that might be a big determining factor for you. Now, out of the four platforms that I'm talking about today, I will say it is rare to see job requirements specifically for Final Cut Pro, like clients who ask that you have access to Final Cut Pro so that they can share projects back and forth. However, assuming that you are not applying for those types of jobs that require sharing projects and it's just sharing exports for review, I do think Final Cut Pro is a great platform to learn on, not only because it is a little bit consumer friendly, so it's easier to learn learn the platform, but also it is more budget friendly than Premiere, for example, over time. It's a large cost at the beginning, but if you're planning on really getting into editing for a very long time, Final Cut Pro will be cheaper in the long run. Now, if we haven't met yet, I'm Colleen, and in this channel, I help you to get a video editing job. And I help you get paid doing what you love. So for more tips on that, or just to support my channel, I'd so appreciate if you can hit the like button on this video and hit subscribe if you haven't already. DaVinci Resolve. If you've ever heard of Blackmagic cameras, this is from the same company. 
DaVinci Resolve is a comprehensive video editing, color correction, and audio post-production software available on both Mac and Windows and Linux, actually. Now, DaVinci Resolve is best known for its advanced color grading capabilities. It's got industry-leading color correction tools and support for high dynamic range or HDR color grading. And I can attest to this, I have once colored both a feature film and a pilot show on DaVinci Resolve, and it really is amazing. The, the features that it offers does not even compare to what Premiere can offer. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself here because that is for the paid model rather than the free model, which we'll get into. DaVinci offers a powerful editing interface with advanced trimming tools and multi-camera editing and real-time collaboration features. So it really does stand up in comparison with other platforms. It includes integrated audio editing, visual effects, motion graphic tools. I have also heard that the audio cleanup features in DaVinci Resolve are amazing. However, I cannot contest to that because I haven't tried it out for myself. Now let's get into that pricing because you can buy DaVinci Resolve for a whopping price of $0. What? And that gets you nearly all the features of the software so you can edit as you like. For more advanced features, including that high-end color grading suite, you can buy DaVinci Resolve for a flat price of $295. So again, it's similar to Final Cut Pro. If you're in it for the long run, it could be worth getting because over time, that is definitely going to be cheaper than a subscription model. Now, personally, I love DaVinci. I think it's the best option for beginners to learn video editing, considering it offers everything you need while being free. Now, of course, it will take you time to learn the tutorials, learn your way around the software because it definitely is a bit different looking in my opinion, because I am so used to Premiere Pro. Editing on DaVinci is definitely a different world, but just like any software, it's all about just learning the software and getting comfortable editing on it. And then you can edit anything. And at least you can take the time learning your way around the software, knowing that you're not dropping $23 a month while learning it. I do think the color grading suite is absolutely worth trying out if you're interested in learning more about color. And in general, it's a good platform to learn just to widen your knowledge about video editing on a software that can compare to any of the other softwares. Like you can download DaVinci Resolve and test it out to see if you even like the idea of video editing. Avid Media Composer. Media Composer is an app developed by Avid who also owns Pro Tools. And it's a professional editing system that really has become the standard for film and TV production over the past 30 years. It's known for its stability, reliability, and extensive support for collaborating editing workflows, including shared projects and real-time collaboration features. It offers a really wide range of advanced editing tools and effects and plugins, as well as support for high resolution and proxy workflows. So you can see why it is preferred by professionals on that high-end film and TV level because of those robust features and honestly just its proven track record in the industry. It's just become the staple. Now let's get into the pricing. Currently Avid is around $260 a year, as well as an option to try it out for free. While $260 a year might sound a little hot, it definitely does not compare to Premiere Pro as Premiere Pro definitely is the most expensive option and that only gives you the editing platform if you just go with that $23 a month option with Premiere. Now, I distinctly remember shadowing an assistant editor during my time as a post PA and being really overwhelmed with how different Avid seemed to be compared to my experience working in Adobe Premiere Pro. Doesn't mean that it's hard to learn necessarily, but I wouldn't say it's worth investing in unless you are training to be a video editor in the film and TV industry. So which is best? Overall, the choice between Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, and Avid really come down to your own personal preference, your platform compatibility, your specific project requirements, and your overall career goals. If you happen to only need an editing software for a short amount of time, Premiere Pro's subscription model might be a good option for you as it is only $23 a month. Now, however, if you are looking for a more longer term option that is still budget friendly, DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro may be a good option for you. Overall, all these platforms are still quite expensive. And so it does force you to take that into consideration. How much do you really want to become a video editor? Because if you want to be editing on any of these gold standard platforms, you're going to be dropping a bit of dough to do that. Another 
Another thing to consider is your niche. As I had just said, if you're interested in the film and TV world, it would be a good idea for you to learn Avid. If you are interested in being a social media video editor, frankly, you may not need any of these platforms. You can find free video editing software online. There are many platforms out there that you can download for free. You can download CapCut for free. You can edit directly on TikTok or Instagram. And then again, reflecting on DaVinci Resolve, if you are really interested in getting into being a color grading artist or a color correction specialist, learning DaVinci Resolve and that color grading suite is gonna be a good idea for you. Again, every software does have its strengths and weaknesses. And so hopefully this video provided a little bit more insight all in one video for you to be able to compare these four platforms to see which one is right for you. So which platform are you going with? Or are you rebelling against all of these and going rogue with an alternative? Either way, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Again, be sure to subscribe for more tips on video editing and freelance lifestyle. Thank you so much to my team. Again, I am Colleen and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have the best one.